Hello everyone, welcome to the session of regression analysis. Come to another example, you will get a variety now. Suppose remember this particular example that if you have a stall or say couple of you know exhibition show where you are you have a couple of salesperson in your exhibition show and based on the number of salesperson you can see the number of car booked for the company and these are the couple of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 sample are being given to you, right. This is simple x and this is y. We have fit the regression line in the previous session and we found the relationship between them. Now suppose I would like to add one more independent variable here to, to illustrate the concept of multiple regression. Suppose here we are adding another independent variable say space. If you add some space of the floor size, the floor size of the exhibition so, so in that case you know you might say that you will buy one space for the exhibition and that space is also matter for your number of car booked. So the, suppose you have put the data of space in your excel sheet and in that case you want to fit a line between your car, between your car and salesperson say salesperson right salesperson select x x1 plus say space x2 space this space is there any relationship if yes how come let us see let us go to excel so here i have prepared that for you look at this suppose here you have say as it is the previous data sets suppose you have a number of cells and the car booked and the corresponding regression analysis we have done for simple linear regression r square you found standard error and the corresponding p and the small p like you know for individual level t test and the corresponding regression output you found now you add one more variable here let's see look at we have added one more variable as a space which we are considering another explanatory variables or independent variable which is nothing but the space and here if you see we have two variable now let us run the regression now if you run the regression let me delete this let me delete this I have already run it but for your information I can delete this so let us go to data and go to data analysis run the regression here you select your say number of car as your dependent variable and now you select two independent variable we have added for the sake of illustration space as another independent variable. Let us see what I am going to illustrate to you now and label and the output cell say we will put suppose here I have already done here but I am keeping here for your uh, reference say here ok. So let us run it. So you have run the multiple regression now with two independent variable number of salesperson and the space what happened this analysis is the same like this so come here now. So this part we are not being seeing we will be focusing on that because you have put a color here. Now if you look at here, see here, so r square 82% quite good, what was the previous r square for single variable, 82%, so it is also quite good and adjusted r square also see standard error you can see observations as it is 10 observations, say. overall test if you see the overall f test of the from the ANOVA table between the independent, two independent variable and dependent variable it is also significant, so there is a relationship. There is a regression, you can fit a regression, but in that case your regression line will not be like this, your regression line will be now like say B1, B1 say X1 plus B2 X2, correct, because you have uh, two independent variable now, suppose let me write it like this and increase the font size, now sorry it is too much now, so let us see now. So what happened? So you can fit a line but now overall test says that there is a at least alternative is that at least one b i not equals to 0. It established now null is rejected, null is rejected because we found overall p test has is significant f test well overall from the anaval table. Now regression you have settled. Now let us see whether two independent variables both are explaining the dependent variable or not that we want to verify now. So if you see this now we have added two variables now look at number of salesperson we can make the color here also not a matter. So you can see the two independent variables and the corresponding in the they are you know slope value the coefficients value and see the p value here 
this is the most important part today now for this particular you know examples if you see here what happened to this p let me put a different color it's actually not significant look at here it is not significant because here the p value this p value is quite greater than 0 0.05 0 0.05 since it is higher than 0 0.05 you can see 0.98 so it is saying that space is not significant or space cannot be considered as one independent variable to define your cells all as per this data set as per the data sets that i have given here as per this that we have put in column number b based on this space like you know meter square say these are 10 meter square 12 meter square like this in the exhibition so you found this much of space in the gallery so there suppose you can see that only sales persons are explaining the number of car booked the output variable the y variables space is not related to the output like you know number of car book so therefore you cannot consider space as one independent variable so this is what you can find from the overall output test of individual t test here you can see this is significant the number of sales person is significant to your regression so therefore or you know to your overall output say number of car sales so you can say that b1 not equals to 0 but b2 equals to 0 so in that case can you set your regression like this can you set your regression say you know y hat number of car equals to 73 plus 11.29 into x1 plus minus say 0 0.06 into x2 can you set like this the answer is this your final regression line the answer is no no because here you cannot include space as a one independent variable it is not significant it is quite high this is what the value of individual t test you need to do in multiple regression if both have less p or significant in that case you can include both and you can fit your regression line and corresponding forecast you can do for the sales for a given space and the given number of say you know sales person what could be your prediction you can do it but here you cannot include space as your one another explanatory variable or independent only sales when sales person are sufficient so this is what you know like additional cases or the special cases of a multiple regression you need to keep in your data sets so, so what is the summary summary says that if you have a so many independent variable you may not require to include all in your final regressions you have to see which are important which are significant and accordingly you have to set your final regression multiple regression clear now now come back to ppt again one more case i'll share with you now interesting cases now let's see another example for your better understanding suppose here you have now one two three four five five independent variable one person's one candidate's performance the number of month monthly sales will say representative say or whatever in a counter person in a sales counter or representative whatever the sales amount of sales will be depend on his aptitude test score during the interview process the age the anxiety score the experience and the academic score say college gpa so these are the five variables you have included and you want to and the data sets are good amount of data set you have and now if you want to set up a multiple regression multiple linear regression in that case will all five variables come in your regression analysis or few of them how to for this given a new data set say for a new candidate what could be the tentative predicted cell for that new candidate you need to predict that through multiple regressions so let's go to say you know i'll come to that this part so let's go to you know excel you will get to know the outcome of that we have done it you just wait you can see the data set here so look at so let me increase the font size one by one i'll show you if you see here look at this data set so here the five data we have kept as it is right and the sales monthly sales are being given now we'll fit a regression same way i have fit a regression by considering all the five barrel. don't see that this you know green color and the orange color don't see that i'll tell you the story of that later first let us fit the regression so all these five variable you consider as your independent variable and select them in your regression graph and you set it we have done it and we found r square 90 percent quite good like there is a regression that means there is a relationship between independent variable and dependent variable and like you know regression the r square says that there is a strain between the independent or causal relationship right now if you look at the overall ANOVA test and if the p value which is very closer i have look at this very closer to zero so i have 
reduce the scale but if you see that it is not 0 0 it is closer to 0 so it is significant also and f is also greater than 2.5 say 2.9 so it is 41 quite okay acceptable so now ANOVA overall ANOVA test says that there is a relationship between independent variable and dependent you can fit the regression but can you take all all independent variable in your data sets we have done that the summary output I am reading here and if you see the p value for that all this independent variable 5 independent variable do not see the inter intercept part that this 5 independent variable if you check do not see even their correlation coefficient like you know that the coefficient value the regression coefficient just see the p value here just see the p value let me put a color here you will get to know the p value look at here the anxiety test score the experience and the college gpa are not impacting or explaining the dependent variable only uh, i think if you click it you will get to know the p value which are very significant like less than very less than 0 0.005 0 0.05 here you can also see or a closure to 0 0.05 maybe little bit of fluctuation you can consider a variation you can accept and you can fit the model but the, if the p value is too high then you cannot consider them in your regression here it's 83 0.83 you cannot select here is 0.99 you cannot here is 0.74 you cannot select these three variable in your regression so that in that case you cannot fit the regression by considering all of them let me reduce the font size so that i can show you where i have written here you cannot select perhaps in the excel i have written here if you come here or ppt i have written here so you cannot fit your regression line in your data look at here suppose i'll come i'll show you that that uh, formula you can see you cannot fit this entire regression aptitude test score age anxiety experience and college score you cannot select all only the significant value what are them age age you can select and aptitude test score these two are sufficient to set your regression line these you cannot select clear now because they are not significant right so this is what the extension of multiple regression for more data sets now one more part i would like to share with you suppose look at here this data sets if you look at this particular data set here it is aptitude test score here it is age here it is anxiety score here it is experience here it is a college academic score gpa so all of them have different you know unit or different scale here it is 22 here it is 9 here it is 0 1 kind of thing binary number so you can see to some extent say different variables are there in your data sets with different unit or even monthly sales could be in million say whatever in money whatever so since the data are of you know different scale or different units sometimes it is better to convert them into a normalized data so if you do the data pre-processing in the beginning and if you reduce the scale and make them normalized data in that case if you fit the regressions you will get the similar regression output but that would be much better in in defining the explained relationship or the causal relationship and establishing your regression that i have shown you here through this data set this data will scale down through normalization process this explanatory data analysis we have also done before that you can see that the month sales the output sales are to some extent explained by aptitude test score heavily look at aptitude test, test score has a good strength or relationship with like you know is explaining the or impacting the output monthly sales sales output effectively also the age of the person has a good you know correlation with the monthly sales so they both of them are significant you can see the strong correlation but if you see the anxiety score one only one i have kept look at this it is scattered so you know there is no relationship to some extent effectively from the graph itself you can say that perhaps anxiety scores will not come into the final regression because data are scattered you cannot fit the regression effectively so in that case only these two will be sufficient just one illustration i have shown you that i have mentioned here it has a good merit actually so now the data exploratory analysis now if you do the normalization of the data like you know you can take say value by mean value by standard deviation right if you take that calculation and if you change the data to a normalized data for all the columns and then if you run a regression perhaps it gives you a better advantage because you have scaled down the data and it to some extent it reduces the influence of a particular variable suppose particular variable has a good high scale value and another value say 2 x one variable is only 2 3 and another variable are taking say 5000 5 lakhs say 10 lakhs kind of thing so it has a high value so it might you know dominate the entire regression the coefficients it might become to some extent you know less impactful or you can say that it will not be uh, too much of influential to the output cell x2 might influence the output cell too much so in this type of situation can be avoided if you normalize the data for all of them 
and it also you know to some extent manage the multicollinearity also we will discuss in other sessions and or you know, interpretability can also be a good understanding the way i have shown you you can see also here you can see the data i have done the normalization of all the all the data i have done the normalization i'll in i show in excel this data will take into regressions and fit the regression we have done it here and also if you see that individual variables and if you see that there are square value individual variable if you set and none of them are to some extent good actually except age and aptitude test score has little bit of r square value 45% and 63% rest all are not good at all so this way you can see that one by one all variable you can do for your own analysis and you can see the relationship whether they have really good relationship or not once that is done the data exploratory analysis are done from your sites and if you fit the regression here you can see the regression based on the normalized data here the data are been normalized so coefficients might change and you will whatever the coefficients you will get that fine and then look at the p value here overall p is significant for the overall test and r square is also good adjusted r square is also good but if you see the, the p value here also same outcome we are seeing that anxiety score experience and as per this data and college gpa are not explaining the dependent variable effectively so exclude them now you have already fit look at now you have already fit the data say with this normalized data or the actual data say you have fit the regression all independent variable has come here explanatory variables has come here so now if you say that this anxiety score and experience and college gpa will not come as independent variable you have to exclude them because they are not explaining the dependent variable effectively because their p value is high so in the from the same regression line you cannot delete them and you cannot fit it you have to rerun the regression by considering these two independent variable only because your coefficients will change in that case final coefficients so let's see that go to excel and if you see that we have done the final regression here you can see we have not consider them we have consider only aptitude score and age if you go to data and if you see there the selection of the independent variable here you can see the selection of independent look at here we have selected only a and b a b and c right so here you have to select this is your output cell suppose you can take the normalized data or you can take from here also output cell and your input data cells will be only you have to rerun by considering only the independent variable who are significant not all you have to rerun it and then if you select the level and output cell suppose we will be writing suppose here and then if you do it you will get the forecast like this this is your final forecast and the corresponding you know analysis you can do this is not correct you can you can even if it is correct we will not select it now because we have rerun the data so this is the final sheet and you can see from there you can see all are quite significant look at here both are significant overall p also significant and also both are significant here which i have shown you in ppt and also you can see the aptitude coefficients and the age coefficient the slope value so this is what the overall summary of multiple regression and overall you know understanding of different you know process of multiple regression whether um, overall anova test or table reading or overall r square adjusted r square standard error and how many variables to consider final independent variable to consider in your uh, final regressions through reading the individual p value this says the overall summary of your regression analysis in the next sessions we will discuss one more interesting part that multicollinearity if the independent variable are correlated to each other in that case you cannot select all also so if there is a multi collinearity among the data sets we have because in the assumption we have considered that there is no multi collinearity among the independent variable but now if the data has the multi collinearity between the independent variable then can we select all the independent variable as it is or if there is a relationship among the among the independent variable how you need to reduce the impact for them only partial you have to take or you can exclude them how to do that that we'll discuss in a separate session called uh, multi collinearity aspects but overall this is the you know analysis of your multiple regression here i i was talking about the final output here you can see only you have taken aptitude test score and the age and the final forecast for this given data sets this is what the multiple regression